Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rajput Reich. The Raja of the Rajput Reich campaign in European Results 4. It is time to take a couple, a couple cores off uh, Madurai and give them back to Vijayanagar. And uh, we're not going to westernize, just loaded the game up so it's wanting to remind me again. We're not going to hire the level 2 guy because we need the... Uh, oh, that would be amazing. But no, that's not correct. Um, yeah. So I've been looking around a bit and yes, this Ethiopia thing is definitely going to be the biggest obstacle to annexation that we have right now. We're going to have to wait. Just have to wait until we can annex them. I, I, if, if it wasn't for the fact that they are a neighboring different religion and that they, they won't accept royal marriages because they're Coptic, then we wouldn't have an issue at all. But I think they're going to be like the only problem country. Khorasan, Afghanistan, like all those other guys, are not going to be a problem at all. In fact, isn't one of them being annexed right now? Yeah, we're annexing Khorasan right now. So when that finishes, Ethiopia is going to be even more pissed. Then we just have to wait. Then we probably annex Afghanistan and, uh, and Ethiopia at the same time. And then after that, we've still got to annex Vijayanagar, who's pretty much going to be ready for annexation as soon as this war is over. Assuming we can still do it. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we need to improve with you a lot. We already are. We need to keep improving with you just to make sure you're maxed out. And then Arakan, that's like, what, future plans? I'd say that uh, we can keep doing that. Let's let's go five days and we'll improve relations with Afghanistan a bit. And really all I want from this this war is the two... No, that's right, that's right. It's not two, it's, it's multiple. I need to give more land to the Janagar just to get this damn nine base tax core back. Stupid bastard in your capital moving? How dare you? These are just transports, right? And some of the movement that I had done on the boats did not work out well for us income-wise. Which is unfortunate, but um, I do think long-term it should be better. Fifty-four percent control that way. It's actually not bad. We should steer this way. We're only gonna lose four percent, but then it, it gets increased by being transferred. So I'd say that that's probably going to work out alright. Yeah, that helped out. So we get an extra multiplier. There's more countries forwarding in this direction anyway, so it's increasing the overall value. Alright, that's good. And... Along those lines, if we had an extra merchant, we would like to go... to here, to here, to there. How many merchants do I have? I just have the two, right? Yeah, we need more merchants. I might need to go trade ideas. Hmm. Alright, well, income's good. Anyway, let's just let the game run. I've got to start attacking westward more. We still have tons of time. And and again, my, my intention with this campaign was never to, like, rush the achievement. It was just do, to do the achievement. And doing the achievement doesn't necessarily mean you have to rush it. Like, I don't care if it's done in 1810. Like, we'll own, we'll own Germany. We just have to blob that way. Which we're doing right now. We're, we're eating the Timrids peacefully. What are we doing on things like, uh... Yeah, negative eight's good. Negative sevens are even okay. Force limit's good. We've got some manpower. We're at about half manpower. Let's hold off till we're closer to the cap. Till we start training more troops. Because we're going to be integrating countries. I'm sure we'll pick up a few troops from Coruscant. Likely not too many. Ten. Alright. Siege of Koch is over. That's your capital. Very good. And we are fighting in the mountains, so... As long as we're the defender, should be just fine. Here, tell you what, why don't we just hang out here and here. He's wanting to come to here to then move to his capital. We're just gonna wait. Okay, goodbye Coruscant. Oh no, Conan Borno has internal conflicts. 
Right, so with Coruscant's army, where is Coruscant's army anyway? And did they give us a bunch of ships that I don't like? They did not. Oh, great! Hey, awesome. So the units were in combat, and then they just upgraded to the new type, which means that they lost all of their morale. That's awesome. Sweet. Fortunately, we have an army next door, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Let's just hang out here for a bit, then. Sure, Timurance. I'm a nice guy. Still wanting to attack Kilwa. How's our truce with Darfur? Till 18. That feels like a long time. Hassa's still a vassal under the Timurids. Ottomans still have land that they can't core. That's funny. Yarkand, you're still a vassal, yes? Of course you are. Yeah, Arakan's really probably the next one. And this guy. Right, let's go check out Ethiopia and see how that whole situation's looking. We're at 141 while at war. We have not yet sent a gift, so the gift offsets the in war together bonus. So altogether then we need 49 opinion. We can get three more from improving relations to cap. And we can get 13 more from more subsidies. So that's 15 plus 141. That's 156. So I still need 34 more opinion. And that means that if we subtract the 10 for defending their territory, that's 146. We need 44. God. So I just have to wait 22 years for annex, annex vassals to go away? Oh, it's brutal. Ethiopia, you need to have some rebels. Or I need a random event to give me more opinion with you. Annex subjects minus 123. Damn. I do not want to lose stability, thank you. Do we have the better relations over time guy? We could buy him. Do I need the Diplo points? I mean, we could always use them. I don't think we want to pay him, pay that much though. Also, I noticed one of the reasons why we're not like looking to go to war with the Ottomans is they're cheating bastards and they have 17 military technology, which is just ridiculous. Like, like they are so technologically advanced. Like there are only four countries that have Tech 18 and they're like people that don't matter. But, like the Ottomans are right up there. Like, well, I guess France has it too, but well, it's France. Alright, so you have that. I wonder if negotiating with the war leader... Since the war leader is someone other than the, uh... The guy who owns the core, maybe return core will work. Probably not. I won't ca I'm not gonna count on it, but maybe. You never know. Alright, so you're maxed out. Let's start working on Pegu. Really, all of our neighbors. Alright, so we want this. I need a diplomat. Do we care about Jarkand? Am I planning on doing anything with them? I don't think I am. I mean, we could just start eating some territory ourselves if we have claims, which I don't, so... I guess we really don't care about him. Unless he has... Do you have Corazon Orisa? You don't. You're, you're worthless to me, dude. You suffer from Madurai. He'll give... Arcot. No. Alright, let's see. If I talk to Koch... Return core. Yeah, Madurai's not even on the list. I didn't expect it would be. I was hopeful, but... Alright, so we transfer this to Vigianagar. We transfer this then to Vigianagar. Just transfer them all, really. And then we... 
isolate your capital. Is that considered isolated if they've got Vanad as a vassal? Hmm. I think it is. I think it'd still be considered an isolated capital and they'd move it to here or here. Or up there. And then in the next war we can get Madurai um, itself back to our vassal. Or, alternatively, since I don't really want anything, why, why don't we try just seeing if Koch will negotiate with me directly. Those two Vijayanagar. And then I think I have a claim on something up here, don't I? A Psalm. Do we want a Psalm? I mean, the coin cost is pretty, pretty minor. And we do have filth, I mean, we have humanism, so... Like, conquering is, is actually pretty good for me. It's not that big of a deal. It does give us lower autonomy than peacefully bringing stuff in. Hmm. Lose piety to gain ducats? Well, I've been in high piety for a while now. We don't need to convert stuff. There's really no reason for it. The only thing that we are actually getting that's valuable, really, is the morale of armies. The fort defense is pretty insignificant. I wouldn't mind going in the opposite direction for a while. Get some more money, get some more manpower, lower tech costs. Let's go ahead and lose piety and start going in the opposite direction. It might not even happen. We might not get to negative piety before this ruler dies. It's 46. Oh, we'll go in that direction. And Jawan has three siege values, so with fort level two, let's do um, one cannon, one infantry, and go that direction. But then we'll take um, the leader with four, and actually see if we can get this claim sieged here rather quick. Siege speed, 27 days. Delhi is improving relations. That's not going to stop me from killing you, dude. Multilingual diplomats. Is that still worth keeping around? Yeah, I think I turned that on because of the thing. You know what? I think we do. I think we do hire the better relations over time, guys. Level 3, 24.8 ducats a month. So we're spending an extra 22 ducats a month, but it's going to give us 30% better relations over time, which will help out tremendously. It'll take our the uh, the annex vassal decay rate from from negative from positive 2.1 to like 2.6. Cuz the base decay is 1, so an extra 30%. Actually, I think it's multiplicative, isn't it? I'm not sure. It's either going to be 0.3 or 0.6, one of the two. That's a lot of extra money for more Diplo points, which we don't really need, but let's let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's it's on the base, so it's an extra 0.3 opinion per year. Ugh. Does not feel very significant, does it? It really doesn't. More diplomatic reputation is always nice. Let's see if they'll just negotiate directly with us. That might actually make this piece a little bit sooner. Alright, so you're going to give back this province and this province. And it says it'll take 40 Diplo to conquest. I wish that this thing would just be accurate. Let's let's just see. Yeah, it did. I, I never know. I, I just never know if you can trust it or not. So you're at peace. You should move your capital. 
probably the beginning of next month. Assuming you have 200 administrative points. The AI... Re well, oh crap, don't tell me because Madurai is the name of your country and Madurai is the name of the province that you'll never move it. I hope you're not one of those stupid AI countries that will never remove your capital, no matter what. Because if you are... Actually, it doesn't even matter. Now that your capital's isolated, we should be able to take it anyway. But, yeah, he did not move his capital. He suffered from Jarkand. Well, would have been nice maybe to get rid of you by conquest, but... Let's just get them out of the war. Still managing to make a profit despite that level 3 advisor. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna buy the level 2 guy. I mean, I just, I have to have a guy. I can't not have an advisor. <laughs> just forward a little bit more cannon. More cannonry. Up that way, just, it's the only province I want. I'm only taking stuff with claims on it. <clears throat> and what kind of random events do you think there are that'll actually help us out here? A couple more years, we'll have 15. We just need so much more opinion. <laughs> and we are not doing technology, really. Like, I do want to move the piety slider in that direction, but I think we do just build buildings and continue to vassalize people and then fall behind intentionally on tech so that when we westernize, we get a more significant bonus and then we catch up then. And then that way we come out ahead because we'll have a ton of buildings that we wouldn't have had if we just tried to stay ahead of time. Like, try to keep up with tech. Besides, unless we run into an issue where our vassals have high liberty desire or something, because they're getting so far ahead on Diplotech that we have to, there's like no disadvantage to being behind tech, aside from maybe having access to worse boats. And the trade efficiency is nice. I mean, there are advantages to it, but... Any Shia that we can convert? Yeah, we got a 62, 59. Let's go for the 59. This thing just does not want to fall. And there we go. Alright, so you're going to give me the one thing I have a claim on, you're going to give me some money, and uh, you're going to give me war operations for, for reasons. Apparently our name just moved from here to here. Freshly conquered province has negative unrest, very good. And we're officially at peace, which means this is our baseline opinion with Ethiopia. 119 right now. We've got to get them up to 190 and annex before we can deal with anyone else. 7 out of 7. Cannot annex anyone else. So... Arakan is totally willing to become our next vassal. Hisenwi apparently has subjects of their own. Well, assuming they integrate them or something, it will be a problem. Pegu's got some cores. Arakan. Never did attack Ming, did I? Who's our rival? Just the Ottomans. Wow. Shun, how much more than 40 base sex do you have? You have 2, 6, 9, 
12, 14, 21, 24, 27, 31, 38, 44. 44 base tax. So you're telling me if I take a 4 base tax province from you, you'll be small enough to accept? Why don't we fabricate on two of these provinces then and attack them? You're allied with Liang, which doesn't matter to me. Yeah, that sounds fine. Let's try to get you small enough, just, just barely. Conquering them is not going to be ideal, but... Hmm. We do not want to break a truce. We have truces with a lot of people right now. Feels like a lot, at least. I guess it's not. Could always attack Delhi. I've been trying to keep aggressive expansion down as well, but it seems like it's being handled pretty well. There's really no risk of a coalition with anyone major. So let's go ahead and eventually we'll, we'll finish off Delhi. Alright. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a short break here. But I imagine in the next video we'll uh, we'll have something else to to accomplish. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.